Hello and welcome to C++ Weekly. I'm your host, Jason Turner. I'm available for code reviews, contracting, and on-site training. In this episode, I would like to mention the format library. Now, I brought this up briefly in the episodes where I discussed modern package management options for C++, and I really did not know what I was doing with the library. And at the time, I would say, I thought, well, okay, this is kind of cool, something I could, you know, kind of maybe replace printf or something, but I didn't really give it a fair shake. And you can see here, some of the examples are things like this. Format, the answer is whatever, comma, 42. And it does kind of have this printf feel to it, but it is type safe, and it says that it has got better performance. So I thought that I should give this a try. So I've been working on my ARM emulator, which I will have just talked about in my CppCon presentation at the end of the week for CppCon 2018. Now, that video will not yet be live on YouTube by the time this video airs, but um, I will provide a link to it as soon as I can. So in the course of developing my ARM emulator, there are many things that I wanted to be able to output, and I end up with statements like this. I've got the C out with this, uh, I'm resetting the state to decimal, and then I am outputting a string, and then a value, and then another string, and another value, and another string, and another value. And I'm doing this with all of these insertion operators, and it's just a pain, but a pain that I never really felt because I had been doing this for so long in C++. So then I became aware of format lib, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, and I thought that I would maybe start to give this a try. Like, I needed to clean this up, perhaps see if I could use um, some sort of logging framework that would help me here. So while this video is about format lib, it definitely is directly related to speed log as well. So speed log is a header-only logging library for C++ that is built around lib format. So for a quick example here, you might just say I need to send something to a console or to the, the warning log that is, and this is my format string and this is the parameters that I am passing to it. So let's go back to our example here. If I was going to now apply speed log and I'm going to apply lib format, I end up with something more like this. I can have a single statement where I say, this is the string that I want to print, and I can put in all of these placeholders and say, well, these things are things that I want to fill in. And I, like I said, originally I'm using speed log here, and I'm sending this to the info channel of the log. And then I just pass a comma separated list of what all of these parameters are. And so for a bit of a comparison, I did this throughout this code base here. And we can even do things like just say, I want to output a hexadecimal value. This is pretty straightforward. And if we look at our git diff here, which maybe will be a little bit hard to actually see on this relatively small screen because I have things zoomed, but we can see some of the changes here, like the C out is elf file, and then I have to do the insertion, and I say, is this an elf or not, whatever. And similarly, on the speed log with format version, I am able to just put in these curly placeholders here and get the kind of output that I want. The overall result was that I ended up with much cleaner code and in many cases, able to do things like drastically reduce the amount of mental overhead for keeping track of things like setting the width and the fill and the hexadecimal output for each byte that I'm trying to print here, where with lib format, it becomes a string as simple as this. The end result is that I now get these very clean, easy to read, and very simple to construct log messages that can tell me the exact things that I am wanting to look at here, like such as 
whether or not any symbols were resolved during the loading of this binary, and what the current location of main is and in what section of the binary that it was in. And I have found that this has become a bit addicting. I'm not only using this when I am needing to write something to the console, I'm also using it for things like a handy way to construct path names, for example, anything that I need to format a string for. And I find myself thinking that uh, this is the right direction that C++ should be moving in for formatting of strings. It is so much more succinct, so much more flexible than IO streams. I have not performed any benchmarks myself, but I cannot imagine that it is any slower. So I hope you enjoyed this episode. I do encourage you to go and check out Format and speed log and any of the other things that use this kind of concept and see if you can deploy them in your own projects. So be sure to subscribe and follow me on Twitter.